ladies and gentlemen, this matter what the rock is cooking. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle, from Miami, Florida, weighing 265 pounds, The Rock. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing 265 pounds, he is the Universal Champion, The Throttle Chief. Roman Reigns! What a night! Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. Despite his busy squall, wow, I thought he was a goner. may have it. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Using the ropes to wear. Here is Roman Reigns in position now. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Might be the opportunity he needed. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks. Look out! sure how much he has left. Now Roman Reigns needs to capitalize on this opportunity. <laughs> oh. 
Without a doubt, this is a... Oh, dumping him over the top rope. And look at this! Spear! Spear! Oh, it's over. Oh, it's gonna be hard for The Rock to come back now. point on volatility and the volatility of this match but what i think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this oh boo hoo cry me a river saxton these competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. I think that caught everybody off guard. Definitely surprised me. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Even when he's not scheduled for a match, The Rock can still make WrestleMania history. There's the year he hosted, of course, but his appearances at WrestleMania 31 and 32 were legendary, too. That's true, Michael. In 2015, The Rock was confronted by Triple H and Stephanie McMahon when he recruited none other than Ronda Rousey to even up the odds in front of a Bay Area crowd not far from where the Great One was born. It was amazing. Two, you brought up The Rock at WrestleMania 31, and forgive me for being less enthused. Why celebrate a pair of egotistical movie stars like Rousey and Rock attacking our hard-working bosses, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon? Uh, because the authority started it? But The Rock topped it at WrestleMania 32. At the first WrestleMania I ever announced on, The Rock accepted an impromptu match against Rowan and beat the bearded brute in just six seconds. A WrestleMania record. Rock just barely got out of the way. So quick. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. He isn't showing much life here, guys. Roman Reigns can be a little over the top sometimes, but it definitely works for him. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? He has him right where he wants him. I'll tell you, watching it... History might be made here. The Rock just changed the momentum of this match. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Starting to struggle. We have seen him here before. Yeah, and he seems to have an endless supply of energy. Back between the ropes. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over.
Here comes The Rock. Roman Reigns is out to prove everyone else in WWE is a failure. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Roman Reigns! Roman Reigns! Oh, right to the side of the face. The Rock's not looking so great here, guys. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John selects Roman Reigns putting together here. The Rock's not looking so great here, guys. Oh, man, The Rock really needs to dig down deep. Look out. Roman Reigns is starting to feel it. Rock's looking to finish this. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Roman Reigns is absolutely on fire right now. Rock just barely got out of the way. So quick. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, electrifying execution. The champ's in a bad way now, Cole. Oh, man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. And he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Back in the ring again. Oh, right to the body. That hurts. That is. And he got a near fall out of it. Amazing. Gotta shake the cobwebs. in half but he's running on fumes here does he have enough left in him to capitalize history with and he got a near fall out of it i'm just as shocked as everyone else cole his opponent included Looks to me, guys, like the champ has no plans on losing the title anytime soon. Anytime a WWE Championship changes hands, it's historic. But the harsh impact. This crowd never doubted The Rock's ability to get back in this thing. This is The Rock's chance. Can he pull it off? The title is slipping away here. One. And the champ kicks out. Might have slipped there, Cole. Rock setting it up. He wants it one more time. Little Roman Reigns may have it. He's losing his grip, Michael. Guys, when The Rock first broke into WWE, he was often referred to as a blue chipper. And given his legendary lineage, it's easy to see why so much was expected from him right from the start. Wow, Roman Reigns is being controlled. Oh man, Roman Reigns is really feeling the pressure. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. As Byron mentioned, The Rock Roman Reigns is in big trouble here. The Rock turns it around. Counter here. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. 
Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. He isn't showing much life here, guys. The champ with that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this this might be it. Oh my man, looked like the champ was. All this demoralizing damage to the rock. How can he take the upper hand here? You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Looks like the champ is starting to crack. His championship reign may very well be holding on by a thread. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared. Counter here. Ain't no stopping him now. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. He's fighting from underneath. Best not to get in a taunting match with Reigns, because you'll lose. Oh, Superman punch! Good night! Here's his chance to win this. Ooh, wow. He's fighting from underneath. Too quick for him there. Ooh, ah! The challenger's championship dreams are fading quickly. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. That's over at this point. And you get the feeling that he's not going to look back at this match with great fondness. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Take all the wind out of you. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. He is a one-man game in there. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Roman Reigns can be a little over the top sometimes, but it definitely works for him. He's fighting from underneath. Right to the back. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. He knows he's in trouble. Rock bottom, the rock bottom. The challenger simply will. One, two, three. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Folks, I would not be surprised if we were looking at the crowning of a new champion here tonight. I don't recall the last time I saw a more focused challenger. That was an easy kick out for Roman. Still too fresh. Uh, going to the top, high risk. He's fighting from underneath. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Starting to struggle. No, he reverses it. Yeah, and he seems to have an endless supply of energy. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. 
Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. There ain't no stopping him now. Judging from the feeling inside this arena, I think the bad should do it. Oh, and he's taken off his feet. I'll tell you, he can't afford to be horizontal at this point in the match, Cole. This one is over. I don't think he can... What a title defense by Roman Reigns. Big fight, big dog, big story. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. It's all over and Reigns stands victorious. He said he was doing it. Get used to seeing it.